Hi, my name is Tatiana. Uh, my husband and I just came back from the woods. We were foraging for morels um, and we found a few of these, uh, but we found a lot of these bell morels, edible mushrooms. Um, if you cut one open, this is how they look. They're really tasty, um, edible. We plan to fry them. Uh, we also gathered this mushroom Excuse me if I'm saying this wrong, but I think it's uh, the Latin pronounce, uh, the Latin name is Gyrometra fastigiata. These are also edible. They're out of the false morel family, but these are edible. And um, I'll cut open a smaller one. If you cut this guy open, they're full inside. You can see how the, the cap folds in and the stem is very full and the stem is almost as wide as the cap is at the base so these are edible as well we've had them last week they absolutely taste delicious um, also we found a little bit of um, velvet stock mushrooms these little guys are also tasty um, these are getting a little bit old because the you can see the stem is getting black but they're still edible. This is prime condition. The, the cap is a little sticky um, and they're gilled mushroom. We also found some alcoholic ink caps. These are getting on the old side, but we're still going to use them. Uh, we usually fry these. They taste really good. We also found a whole, a bunch of cool herbs. This is, this is horsetail herb has a lot of silica in it. And the way we prepare this is we'll dry this out in our dehydrator and then uh, put it in a jar and seal it tight. Um, and then in the winter or whenever we're making tea, we just take the dry horsetail herb and put it into our tea. Uh, that way we're getting silica. This is bergamot. We have two different kinds. They have a little bit of a different smell. You can see this one's a little fuzzy on the underside and this one isn't. So we're going to ferment these. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to pluck the leaves off and we're going to do like this until it's smashed. We'll probably make another video on this separately, but just for a little intro. And as you can see, the leaves started juicing we'll go through the bowls and then put these little smashed leaf, roll leaf, uh, leaf, smashed rolls of leaves into a jar and cover it with a cheesecloth and let them ferment and then dry them out. Tastes really great. And this is the amazing watercress. This stuff is delicious. We found a whole bunch of it. Um, it only grows in the spring. You want to pick it now if you're anywhere. We, we live in central Pennsylvania, so um, wherever you're at, it's a spring plant full of nutrients and different minerals. But just wanted to share a little foraging um, treasures for today.